Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're now going to have a look at the very basics of how the channel mixer works. It's a tool that's amazingly powerful in what it can do, but surprisingly little used. So we're going to take more videos in going through what it can do, but this video is all about how it basically works, which isn't that difficult, but a bit confusing. Let's get on with it. So let's come on and bring up a channel mixer. I'm going to bring this up here into this block of colour. We're going to change this. What we're also going to do, we're going to bring up a... I'm going to go to here and go to View, Studio, and if it's not already checked, bring up the Info box. You may find it down here or wherever you put it, but this will tell you what any pixel is like. And what I'm going to do is take the little circle at the bottom here and drag this up to here. And now that point there is just covering this overall big rectangle. And it shows that the colours in here, each pixel has got 230 out of red out of 255. It's got 160 out of 255 in green and 55 in blue. So although it's a brown colour, it's a mix of those three with more red than green than blue. The channel mixer, now when I change this, it's going to have at the top here, the output channel here, it's RGB, we can change this, but we're going to leave it for now. So we're going to have red, green and blue here. We're also going to have alpha, uh, this the A at the bottom here. A alpha of 255, alpha is the same as transparency, opaqueness, opacity, and so on. It just means how see-through an item is. 255 is 100%, an 8-bit colour, and so it means you can't see through it. If there's something underneath it, you wouldn't be able to see it. If the alpha turned down to zero, it would just effectively disappear through transparency and translucence and so on. Right. The one key thing to remember when using the channel mixer is that up here, when it says output channel and red here, then all of these controls only change red. So this number here, the 230 in the red there, that's the only thing it's going to change. Bit confusing, I know. So when you change the green here, it is still only going to change the red. If you want to change green, you have to change up here to go to the green channel. So let's see what happens. When I take the red there, it's already at 230, so it's not far to go to 255. So as I drag it up here, see it's already gone to 255 here, even though I've got more to go. So this is something that happens, is there's a point at which in here, it doesn't have to go to the end. It gets somewhere along here, it'll get up to 255, and after that, nothing happens because it's at its maximum. Similarly, going downwards, as I go down here, when I've got to zero, the red has gone to zero, and so green is now the dominant colour. Even higher up here, green is still dominant. See, it only starts going off green as red gets up to near the green number there. And after you go higher, red takes over and you get more and more red in it. So, and as you go down below zero there, the red is zero, so it's going to have no effect. So down here, no change, because red is already zero. OK, if I reset to put it back to the beginning, look at green. Now then, I'm still changing red, but in proportion to the amount of green in there already. So as I turn this up, because green is quite high, it has a very quick effect as I tweak this upwards. So even there, 19%, red has gone to 255, it's not going to go up anymore. And if I go downwards, red declines fairly quickly till it gets to zero at some point, all the way down there you go, you're at minus 151, and this goes down to minus 200 and plus 200, and it is already, red's gone to zero, so it's not going to change anymore. Let's reset that, and have a look at what happens with blue. Blue is smaller, it's 55, all right, so it has a weaker effect. So when I change this here, as I go upwards, red eventually will get to 255, but here now it's more like it, it's around 55% before it gets there. And as I go down, 
Red is going down and down and down in the info box there, down and down and down. But when I get to the bottom here, all the way down, there's still plenty of red there. And it's only because, this is because the blue has a weaker effect. So that's, that's kind of important. Uh, and uh, you'll see later how that works. The other thing is that the alpha here, um, because alpha is the maximum, uh, it will have uh, a very strong effect. Red quickly goes up to 255, quickly goes down to zero. Uh, the offset is like a volume control. It changes things overall. Uh, a lot of people don't use it because they like to make the changes individually here. If we go to the green channel, now the green is at 100%, 160 there, but it's 100%. We're still now changing. Now, now we're changing green in the same way we change red. So I turn up green, that'll go up and get to 255 if it can eventually, and then go down to zero. To zero when we hit the zero point here as well. Red then, increase the red and you're increasing green. Red's a big number so it very quickly goes up and very quickly goes down. Blue is a smaller number so the green goes up more or less. And alpha and offset are similar. And the same will happen with blue. If I go down to alpha, I now got the transparency channel. So this is now going to affect the transparency of this. So if I change the red, it's becoming, see it's lighter, it's not going lighter. If there's anything underneath you see it, it's becoming more and more transparent. Yeah, and you can see that, that goes going down to zero. Okay, so this has that effect on the alpha. Yeah, and again with the alpha here you can change this up and down here. It's not showing it with this marker here, but it actually is going up and down. You can see it. Okay, that's the overall principle of the colour mixer. That you choose your colour and you know, say red, and then all of the controls down here only change red, but in proportion to the value of RGBA here. That's the basics of the channel mixer. In future videos, we'll get into steadily more detail of how to use this and how it works in further detail. Stay with it. It'll make sense. It's already making sense. Thank you very much for watching.